I, it's a bit parky today. It's about the 5th or 6th of February and um, it, the sun's just coming back out. It's quite a nice day and um, we're taking a walk around Geddington at the moment. Geddington is noted for its Queen Eleanor Cross and also for its arched bridge which is two to three hundred. Standing on the bridge now, this is looking along the River East Ward. Right in front of us at the other part of the village is the Queen Eleanor Cross and the church and this is looking West Ward. You can tell that it's early spring and it always marvels me how these bulbs can force their way through frozen ground. So this is the modern side of Geddington. We're just off the busy A43, which runs to Stamford, looking down the village street, which was once the main road. When you see where we're going to walk, can you imagine all that traffic passing through the centre of this village past the Queen Eleanor Cross and through a ford? An absolute massive treat. Look at that lovely blue sky. Huge tree. Wonder how many years old that is. Getting a little bit quieter now, but you can see the main road up there. This is Grange Road, which um, is split in half by the main A43. An interesting feature here, you can see where the stonework has been taken out and put back and the strengtheners put in they go right through the house to the rear and they're actually holding the walls in. Ties, they actually call them, building ties. And just near the White Lion pub, we've got this dovecote. Don't see many of these nowadays, not that are being used anyway. I know there's one at Waddenhoe but um, it's not actually being used, it's just in a preserved condition. White Lion Public House, opposite a nice thatched cottage. You're looking down the village street now towards the Ford. Another nice thatched cottage. Lovely little dormy window in that one. And something slightly different a stone cottage backing right on to a large slate, I think it's a slate roofed building, but it's built so close to it. Been here one or two times, uh, I've never seen anyone around this building, don't even know whether it's occupied. It looks a little bit forlorn to me. And then just across the road, you've got 
all stone buildings but a bit more modern. Well here we have a nice scene, we're going to do a full circle here. That's the United Reformed Church. Not many villages have a post office now, so Geddington is very lucky. It also has a website. And just across there, it's now got new doors on it. The last time I come, the doors were rotting away. Is some old, an old well. I live down by the ford now. If you're lucky enough, you can squeeze through there and go over the bridge. But if you've got a bigger car, then it's down through the water. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, you can come through the water. It's not that deep, but you can see by the uh, stonework how high the water has been. Right almost up to the top. In fact, I bet it has been up to the top of the arches. Right in the ducks away. Quack, 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 quack. Got to be a male and female there. Lovely reflections. Another one coming through. This is looking at the bridge from the east side and all the meadows here when the water's up high will be flooded. Looking back to the bridge and the ford, come up and I'm standing right next to the Queen Eleanor Cross. There's the Star Inn. Right below the cross is some old wells. This is supposed to be the best one out of all those that were built. That's looking along West Street. Here we've got Church Hill and of course the church. A nice scene from the church yard looking across towards the Star Inn and up Church Hill. Because you don't see all this once the trees get all their leaves on. But as I say, this is early February. And look at the beautiful sky. The clock's not the right time, is it? <laughs> it's about two o'clock. Just below the church, slightly to the east, 
is the very, very, very old school. And as the village grew bigger and got more population, they built another school. And even behind that is even more modern school buildings. This is looking up past the school, up Wood Street. Does it lead to the local wood? Wow, probably would do, wouldn't it? Oh dear, all these woods. And the final view in Geddington is from the east, looking back at the church. Two sort of short walks today. We've had a look around Geddington and now we're in Walkton. And Walkton has a lot of very, very old buildings, including this lovely church. And right behind the camera are some really, really few hundred year old arms houses. So come on, it's a bit chilly, but we'll make it really hard white frost last night so the uh, snowdrops there look a bit down and out don't they but spring is just around the corner and uh, lovely how the sun is glinting on the church clock there and this clock is actually telling the right time There's the war memorial and as I said just behind the camera are these very old arms houses which we'll have a look at without the sun shining into the camera lens eh? <laughs> these have recently been fully restored Well, I can't remember exactly how many years, but it's a few hundred years old, that property. Well, that's an old school building. And just across the road is another school building which has a tale to tell, which I'll show you in just a moment. Right, we'll go over now. Oh, go over? <laughs> no, we won't go over, we'll roll over. Go over and have a look at this sign now. And the almshouses, which I showed you, that backed onto the church, they're of about the same date, 1620 something. See them ducks there? I don't think they're going to lay any eggs, do you? <laughs> Look good, don't they? Well, we're walking down towards the village centre and this is a very, very small village. Once again, like Geddington, it's just off of the main A43 Kettering to Stamford Road. What a lovely scene this is. This is the old vicarage, which is now a nursing home. look across the main A43 lovely thatched cottages but you've got the continual pounding of the traffic Lovely thatched dwelling there, 
probably far enough back off the main road so you don't hear too much traffic and across the road looking at the village it's still got its own post office like Geddington very very lucky really picturesque isn't it absolutely delightful just at the back of the post office you've got this lovely country lane unfortunately everywhere we go now we've got uh, wheelie bins wheelie bins in a lot of the views but i'm afraid with the environmental friendly situation we're in the wheelie bins are inevitable swing round now to this other lovely thatched cottage nice cottages here this is to the east of the village only a few hundred yards down the road there's a nice uh, well there in the garden and just across the other corner you've got a farm Right on the edge of this little tiny village, <laughs> my favourite, the pampas grass, always looks grand, it's there all through the year, beautiful, and a lovely thatched cottage as well. And on my previous visit to this village, uh, must have been, I don't know, in the middle of the summer I think, because this field was full of sheep and uh, young lambs. absolutely beautiful peaceful just an aircraft droning in the background <laughs> I'm nearly back at the church now getting ready to end the film just looked over the gate and spotted these two never know what you're going to see and here we are on our arrival back where we began this little walk not open <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed today's walks around uh, these two lovely little villages those arms houses incidentally are dated 1611 so at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 they're nearly 400 years old wouldn't it be wonderful if we could live that long? see you later, bye